to my channel. My name is Amber. This is Fabricating Fringe. Uh, to those who are new, please like and subscribe for more content. To those who are coming back to watch more wig reviews, thank you for your support. I really do appreciate you guys. So anyway, today I'm so thrilled to show you this beautiful style. I wore this all day yesterday. Very much has been approved. <laughs> but I approve of it as well. It is so, so beautiful. The cap, the hair, the color, everything is lovely. Now this is from a brand called Vexora Wigs. This is the box, very, very sturdy box, great shipping. So first impressions are fantastic as far as communication, shipping, durability in the box and the way that it's presented. All A pluses from me. So, um, I mean, the box has a little bit of like a dent right there, but other than that, wig and everything inside was packed fantastic and just super, super impressed. Um, they do include some goodies with your wig, so I did want to show you guys some of those. Um, I got this awesome little Vexora travel brush that also has a mirror in it and their logo. Love that. Also, you have an amazing wig grip. I love this type of wig grip because you have the lace up at the front and in the middle for the parting. So if you are a wig grip wearer, this is a great one. And this also has their little logo on there. I love that. It's very personalized to their brand. Um, there was another wig grip in there as well, but this is actually a wig grip, much like the one I just showed you with the lace front, the middle part, but it has a nice soft bamboo cap liner. Um, this is fantastic with those who want to cover up their hair or you have complete hair loss. You need something nice and soft against the head between the wig and, um, you know, and your scalp. Uh, so I thought this was fantastic with the wig grip and the cap combined. Um, anyway, really awesome wig cap slash wig grip going on right here. There was also a really cute clip. Love the clip. I love a good fun clip to put your hair in. And then of course this really, really pretty scarf. You can put it on your hair. You could you know, wrap it around your neck. Just a really gorgeous chic scarf. Anyway, I love it when there's goodies in a box. It just makes you feel extra special. Uh, you know, it sends off great first impressions. I know that what's in the box, little goodies, isn't the wig itself, but I always like to receive those little extras and it, and it just sets the mood um, all for positives. <laughs> anyway, those are the great little extras that are inside the box from Vexora Wigs. Okay, so let's talk about this hair, you guys. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. Now this here wig is called Joyce, J-O-Y-C-E, and the color is light sandy and warm blonde balayage. Um, this is a small medium cap, and this is 18 inches. I just gotta tell you guys, they did an impeccable job with this color. It is divine. Now this does look kind of, it does have some warm to it, but not totally really, really warm, not honey, anything like that. But just just the, the color, the quality, and the technique that they used on this here color, so, so good. It looks like you went to a salon and had a professional stylist do the hair color. Very, very great color technique. Fantastic rooting. I mean, just beautiful. I'm gonna do a full close-up of this color. So it's that light, sandy, and warm blonde balayage. Let me do a turnaround so you can see that color, the length from all angles. Now I did curl this hair. So this is human hair. Um, you know, this came with a slight curl in the box. I added this specific curl, but that's the beauty of human hair is you can wear it and change it to your style preferences. So beautiful, you guys, just so beautiful. Now this hair density is 130%. I feel it looks very natural, yet you have hair. So, I mean, for me, 
I have always dealt with lack of hair. So if you can give me a nice head of hair, I will take it. But it does, it does look natural. It doesn't look like a big horse's mane of hair, but you have some thickness going on with 130% density. You can choose other lengths for this here Joyce wig. You can actually choose longer lengths, but this one is 18 inches. I love this length. It's not too long, but you do have length. You can use that cute clip. You can pull it up. Um, just so pretty. Love, love, love it. Look at that. Oh, so cute. I grabbed the wrong clip. It's too tiny. But I just love it. Here, let me grab a bigger one. Perfect for pulling up. It's not too long, not too thick. I love it. I keep saying that, but I really, really love this wig. I feel like it's so beautiful. Oh, no, I can't get that clip. Where is it? So on their website, they describe this here human hair as Mongolian human hair. Like I mentioned, 130% density. Cap size is small, medium. Now I wear medium or average wigs in the majority of wig brands. This fits me really well, very comfortable as well. Um, fits me from front to nape, from ear to ear. Now my head circumference is 21.5 inches and I would say that this here small medium cap with Vixora wigs is fantastic. Fits me really well and comfortable. Very secure as well. So let's talk about this cap construction. You have their transparent silk lace up at the front hairline. Now this wig does come with the lace intact. So you want to take the shears, um, you know, the razor, the pinking shears of your preference. I prefer to use pinking shears when I cut my lace. That gives you more of a scalloped edge. Um, and it's easier on monofilament and lace materials. It's like you're cutting very delicate material fabric, if you will. And um, having that pinking shear, just like a seamstress and those who are in that industry, they use pinking shears to help avoid fraying. And that's what you want with these very delicate lace fronts, is you want to minimize the fraying. So I do use pinking shears, and, and that's what I used to trim my lace front. I did do a small reel on Instagram showing myself trim that lace, if you wanna check that out. That will also be on my saved stories on Instagram, on Vexora wigs, so check that out if you'd like to. So the lace front is ear to ear. However, these ear tabs are nice and flush and tight to the head. So sometimes you have ear to ear or, you know, um, 360 degree, like you have the whole wig surrounded in very delicate Swiss lace and it's floppy. You have more of a floppy ear tab area. So you definitely need to use adhesives on those type of wigs. However, this wig has a nice tight circumference, even with the Swiss lace from ear to ear. And I'll show you the underside when we take this wig off. But I'm just really impressed with this cap construction because you do have the realism of that Swiss lace front that's ear to ear, but you also have the, the convenience of a wig that is nice and tight, that circumference is nice and secure, and you don't necessarily need to use any type of adhesives or tapes if you don't want to. Now this is a free part wig, which means you can part this hair every which way up on the top and crown of the head. You have a nice area of multi-directional parting ability because of this cap construction. So what you have with this wig is their standard lace top with a seamless silk liner. That makes it very, very comfortable underneath and it makes it look fantastic when viewing it from the top. So let me just part that so I can show you guys what that looks like. Oh, looks so good. I'm so impressed. Just love it. Um, I'll show you closer when I take this off. I keep saying that, but it's just easier sometimes when the wig is off. 
Now, these knots are also lightly bleached. That creates more invisible knots, which is fantastic. Uh, when you have heavily bleached knots, that can mess with the integrity of the knots, but you're gonna have a more undetectable wig with some lightly bleached knots, which this wig has. Now, this is a mid-length cut with some slight layering. Oh, you guys, I love this cut. It kind of looks very blunt with this type of um, curl pattern that I did. It's more curly in the mid shaft and then straight towards the ends. Um, oh, just beautiful. Also, it curled like a charm and this curl is after a full day of wearing in the wind, running errands, um, and this is, this is what we have for day two and I just think it's lovely. I love this hair because you have that light sandy blonde, you have that warm blonde, and then you have more of a neutral root. I love more of a neutral brown root on a wig when you have a smudge root or a balayage or a rooted wig because it just looks so good with any blonde or brown color. You don't have that kind of appearance of hot roots with um, like really, you know, reddish or warm rooting. I don't know. I just think more of a neutral brown looks fantastic. And that's what we have going on with this here root on this color. Now I'm going to take this wig off and show you guys the underside. So here is that beautiful lace front. The, the lace front stretches from ear to ear for an undetectable hairline. You can wear it off the face and it looks fabulous. And then you can enjoy the versatility of their free part because of that top. You have bleach knots and you have a realistic scalp look. So this is their standard lace top, but what you have with this one is their seamless silk liner underneath. Very comfortable and against that lace top, it just looks really nice. You have very nice closed wefting. And another thing that I noticed that's fantastic with this cap construction is around that liner and that partable area is a really nice lined velvet area. You can see that right here. It's so luxurious and so nice. And you have that same velvet lined ear tab, nice ear tab that fits nice and flush and flat against the ear. And then you have that same material down at the nape. Of course, you have the adjusters at the nape, so you can loosen and tighten this wig. You can make it more secure and also fit your head more true to size. Now let's take a look at this color up close. I do have a ring light, I have bedroom light, and I have natural daylight coming in from the window right in front of me. So you have a great amount of light coming in of all types of light. <laughs> And I feel like this does portray the color really well. And it is so, so beautiful. What do you guys think of that gorgeous color on this Joyce wig? Cut is fantastic as well. You can see the layering. You can see that mid-length cut. So a medium size cap is 22.5 inches circumference. A small is 21.5 and this is a small slash medium. I feel like it fits me really, really well. If you want to look at the Vexora wig cap measurements, just get on their website, take a look at Joyce for instance, and you can look up like just different information on their caps and the circumference, front to nape, ear to ear, and all of the measurements so you can you know, get a wig that fits you really well. I am so impressed with this here wig. Let's put it back on. Like I mentioned, the length of this wig is 18 inches with some layering, but you have the option on this here Joyce wig to get 20 and 22 inches. And I would bet that if you reached out to Vexora wigs, you wanna talk about color, you wanna talk about cap size, you want to talk about length, density, uh, they can help you with any of those specifics. Just reach out to them, go follow them on their social media platforms. I will have that link down below. I will have the link to this here Joyce wig. And before I forget, you guys can get a discount over at Vexora Wigs. 15% um, off using the code AMBER. Uh, just so you don't forget, I'll have that code below, but it's just 
Amber. 15% off using my name. So anyway, definitely go use that if you are looking for a gorgeous, gorgeous human hair wig. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about the customer service, about the hair quality, about the way the wig fits, the way I feel in this wig. I just literally feel so good and I just wanna share that with you guys. I think they did an impeccable job and I'm here to shout that out. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what you think about this gorgeous wig, this Joyce wig. And, um, you know, give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. And please like and subscribe as well. Like I mentioned, go follow Vixora. Go follow me on Instagram. And if you have any questions or comments or your thoughts, comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.